Okay, Karma Fisker. And air conditioning on this one. They had to take out, what was this one? Oh, uh, I think this was a, a heater control. They have like blinds inside a door and uh, like the actuator goes out or the duct blinds go out that actually control the air movement under the dash. So that had to come out. So I was just called in to recover the refrigerant, perform that procedure. Now it's time to charge and we are 650 grams so we have the refrigerant hooked up we have our scale zeroed out we make sure our scale works scale works scale zeroes back out and we have our low side off our high side open we the vacuum hose is totally disconnected this is the refrigerant line filled with refrigerant we're going to open that up to about 650 grams and here we go, start counting. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and choke it off a little bit more. Choke it off, oh, we'll stop right there. Okay, that's it. Every car charges like that. No ifs, ands, or buts. No excuses. No whacking off the can. No sitting in hot water. No, none of this bullshit is needed. If you did it right, it'll work like that every time for the next 10 years, 20 years, 100 years, 1,000 years. Physics is a very simple process to order. Don't use that word physics. It's just common sense. Some really basics. Um, let's start up this Fisker and see how to... Oh, take a look at this Fisker. Remember, I've said before, for you, those of you who have not seen this car, solar panel, um, this was the Tesla. This is what the Tesla was supposed to look like. Very few people got to see this car before. So, this, the designer of this car worked for Tesla. He designed this car for Tesla. And then he jumped ship, got some uh, money backing, started his own company. And then left uh, Tesla holding the bag with that uh, pretty plain looking car. Look at this, this, this is suede. This is really suede leather. This material, the stitching. Now I gotta say, the interior, the looks, the design of this vehicle is really, really nice. Only if the Tesla had this kind of designing quality material stitching look at this this is suede at the kick panel is suede no skimp in here okay so let's uh start oh watch how slow the computer system is in this thing and all the boot ups and everything i mean i could grow a beard my child could graduate a uh, grandchild could graduate college in the time this takes to boot up <sighs> okay so we're gonna wait for a fisker to boot up and uh come on guy any day now come on can you hear me now can you hear me now windows 95 booting up actually i think this is like dos before windows <laughs> we're coming my beard is an inch longer okay I have the masker, the master of uh, Fishkers over here. There we go. And now I could touch something. Yeah, that's very it. Lightly. Very lightly. Boom. Oh, you actually need to start the car. Oh, oh, start the car. I, I didn't hold it long enough. Okay, now we touch something. Oh, I turned it off. And then you grab this and you go. Nope. Doesn't no. work like that. Press and hold on the very bottom, in the middle. Yeah. And it'll actually jump. There we go. Okay. You know, it's still after I've done this many times and I still can't remember this. Okay, we have it on recycle. Oh no, that's fresh. Yeah. Recycle. There's recycle. I want to get it cold fast. And I want it to come to the face. If the curtain's torn. I could literally face. hear the clicking in back there of like relays and stuff moving and actuators and stuff. Yeah. But this would have been a nice looking Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it looked like this, but worked as well as a Oh, Tesla. yeah. Worked as well as a Tesla, but looked like this. 
you don't want your car work, working like this one. You'd be in the garage all the time. The worst combination would be looking like a Tesla and working like this. Oh, yeah. Well, then you would have a Ford or Chrysler or GM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the ducks on. Why am I not getting blowing strong on my oh, face? Um, on the left, uh, under, under the auto button. Um, auto? Oh, right there. Yeah, click that. Now up the fan speed. You can't drag it, you just click towards the direction you want it to go. And that just turned off the AC as well. So you gotta turn the AC part back on. Turn the AC back on. These guys have issues. And I can hear that fan roll. Ah, oh, that's noisy. So that blower motor is on. Yeah, that's the, the, this is the sound. I don't know if you can hear the rumble of the blower motor sounding like it's off balance, but there's a rumbling in there. And let's get these things. I'm gonna hit myself in the face with the air. It's a Cadillac XLR HVAC system. Also in a Corvette as well. And the compressor is a Nippon Denso. The engine is Buick. Oh no, it's a... Uh, What's that Buick? Yeah. Pontiac? Yeah. GM. All the same, same abortion. And we're open over there. And, uh, all right. I feel cold. That's good enough for a Fisker. And the electronics are all German and Swedish. German and Swedish electronics. Wow. Uh, well, it could have been French or or Italian electronics. There we go. Let's get Lucas yeah. Motors to develop this car. <laughs> so let's look at. I didn't have this one down. Let's see. Boom. Thirty-two three 155 no big deal uh you've seen many guys that but the special things actually how many water pumps did you say are on this six water pumps were managing six electric water pumps six electric water pumps three for the uh hybrid electric loop hybrid uh, electric loop three two for the battery two, system. two for the battery pack and one underneath the cowling to circulate through the um, and one under here for the heater core and actually let's take a look at that battery loop system there's one out over here right there so this is the module that sits up under the car in the center of the car here I'm taking out somebody scavenging them for good modules out of here the BCMs power to control modules uh, or you're just taking the whole packs and scavenging yeah, them. Yeah, I'm just taking the whole. You don't cut them, break them down. No. And and this is live, right? Yeah. No, 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 it's, it's dead. Okay. Everything's just. Um, still be fine. Twenty-five volts. Oh, so this right here is a coolant chamber. This is a coolant chamber. This is your dicaratherm. This is the stuff that you would put on transistors and MOSFETs and stuff like that, or similar to what you would put on uh, your computer chips, and that totally hits one side of the battery packs these are lithium metal phosphate. iron phosphate lithium iron phosphate it has a it's the it's the iron phosphate one uh, with maybe lithium or something like that Maybe but they're that. they're very durable um and so this conducts the heat out of these cells right to this pack that gets cooled by the air conditioning the air conditioning goes through a plate heat exchanger and it sends your say let's say your cold coolant goes in here that's chilled it goes down one side of the plates and it goes all the way down to the very end check this out they have them butt welded together these are hollow chambers these are tubes it goes up it goes over it comes down and no, no, it doesn't go up and over. no it doesn't go up it only over. this oh. one only is on the side here oh this is so, deadheaded yeah so it, so it circulates through down. And then back down this way. Has to come back down and come out. And that one cools both halves. So you have heat naturally goes up. So it probably cools one better than the other because heat goes up. But these are a durable battery. We the don't... other thing about them is they don't actually get that hot. That's why it doesn't have a radiator. It just has the heat exchanger and We've never seen issues even with the air conditioning system non-functioning. Oh, yeah. Tell them about the one in Arizona, was it? 
with a no, dead Fresno. Fresno, yeah, which is a hundred plus degrees. Fiskers too, and uh, one of the Fiskers, the AC line was rubbed through, so the AC system hasn't been working for three years. He's been driving it all the time with no problems, other than the check engine light for the AC system. And uh, he brought it in. We replaced the pipe, and so far it's been three years ago, and he's had no issues with the battery pack. So three years and no cooling. No, just the coolant circulation. Cooling circulation. Yeah, but nothing else. No nothing else. Explosion. So these battery packs were in Fresno. That's 100 degrees almost every day in the summertime, driving it every day for three years with no cooling, and the battery pack was still okay. That's how durable. Now, you get less range out of these batteries. They're not like lithium ion batteries or any other lithium technologies, but their durability factor is very high. Uh, and they're overheating their safety factor, which he's going to take one of these out fully charged and shoot it with a... Oh, everything. Oh, everything. Okay. Yeah. What's... So starting off with a uh, high-powered rifle round. Uh... Yeah, so a rifle round is going to go through all the cells first. So he'll go in here so he can make sure he shorts them out. And he's going to make sure it's fully charged and topped off so we can make it dramatic. I hope it's dramatic. <laughs> But the, these are not dramatic cells. These suck. don't burn up like, this is not like, you know, a Tesla. I mean, if you took a Tesla battery pack, we would there be guaranteed dramatic. Yeah. Uh, Although these have been known to burn down in the early versions of these cars, these hose clamps were either incorrect size or the hoses were incorrect and they would leak the coolant into the battery pack. And eventually when it would short out the battery pack, the whole car would burn down. Hmm. You add water to batteries and you burn down a car. Yeah, especially in the 350 volt range. Okay, so these are 350 volt. All right, guys, I'll leave you off on this one. That is the Fisker. That should have been what the Tesla looked like. And we're out of here.